Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Skillset Go. In the last video, we have seen how to build and deploy our Spring Boot application using a Maven build and Maven command. And we have used Java command to run our jar file. So in this video, we will work with properties file in Spring Boot. So if you can see, we will be having a properties file in this package resource. So we have application dot properties. So after making or after building our application to the jar file, this application dot properties file will be included in a jar file. But if you want to change any property value, you have to change the property file and you need to build the whole jar file again. So that is a problem. But there is a way to separate our application dot properties file from a jar file. So we can use the external application dot properties file. So presently we don't have any property file. Let's introduce a property file and let's see how we can access it in our application. So let's say app dot message equal to this is message from a properties file. So we can access this property from our application. Let's go to the controller we have. So here we have made our application as REST controller and we have introduced a simple REST API that is get request. So here instead of returning this constant value, let's return a value from the application dot properties. So we need to access this message app dot message. So there is a simple way to get let's define a string message. So we have at value annotation. We just need to introduce introduce a dollar and write our key of the property app dot message. So that's it. Our Spring Boot will get the value assigned to this key in a properties file and it will be assigned to this message. So here we will just return a message property. So after accessing this URL, we need to get this message. So this is message from properties file. So let's build and run this file using a Maven. Let's go to the location of form file. So this is the location of form file. Let's open a bash here. So let's build maven clean package. Now we can run our jar file using this command. So our jar name is this one spring demo on the version name. So it will be in target folder. So our application got started and let's access it. By default, it will be running on the port 8080 localhost 8080 slash hello. If you can see, we got the message from the properties file. What we have written here. Now, if you want to change any value of the property key, you no need to build our Spring Boot project every time. Presently, this properties file is part of a jar file. So we need to build the jar file every time we want to change a property value. But we can have another property file externally so that all the values will be taken from that file. If there is no value present in that file, then it will take the file present in the jar file. So let's see where we can keep that external file. So first let's go to the location of application dot properties file. So this is a POM file and we will be having application dot properties file in source main and resources. So let's copy this file and let's go to spring demo. And here we can create a folder name config. Let's go inside and paste our properties file here. 
and let's change the values here let's edit it so here app message this is message from properties file so let's change the message first so we are just overriding the value from using the external file hi from properties file and we can also change our server port by default it will be 8080 and we can change our server port using server dot port port key we can set our port 8081 and now let's run our project so we are we are not building our jar file again we just have an external properties file outside and we are just restarting our spring boot project here if you can see now our tomcat is started using 8081 port so inside a properties file we have not mentioned any port it will be 8080 by default but we have an external properties file where we defined 8081 so let's access it if you access it with the 8080 then we won't get any response before we are getting this is message from properties file so we won't be getting any response if we change our port to 8081 we will get a new message hi from properties file so spring boot by default check our properties file inside this config folder so we are starting our jar file from here so it will be checking our properties file in config folder suppose there is no properties file in config folder or there is no config folder so where the spring boot will check the properties file it will check in the current directory so we can just copy and paste it here and we can delete our config folder now let's run it let's run it again we have changed our location of external file so again it is running in 8081 because the next preference it will check in the current directory so the first preference will be in config folder the next preference will be current folder suppose we have the properties file in the current folder and also in config folder then it will take from config folder so we can have folder again config let's copy properties file paste it here and let's change our server port to see the change so it was 8081 let's change to 8082 and let's change message also 8082 port so now we have a property file inside a config folder as well as current folder in current folder properties file we have 8081 and here we have 8082 so let's restart our project and let's see what port it will take so if you can see our tomcat is running with 8082 port it means it is taking properties file preference in config folder so hi from properties file 8082 port so by this we can know the first preference will be properties file inside config folder and the next preference will be properties file of the current folder so this is how we can deploy our properties file in a spring boot project we don't need to build our jar file again and again i hope you like this video and understood please like share and subscribe my channel for more videos thank you for watching